into today but I feel like I might attempt another vlog happy Saturday hope you guys weekend is off to a great start um, so I just got done getting dressed I got done with my workout already this morning and it's still early it is only 9 36 um, but we are up and ready and ready to actually leave the house in just a bit I actually have someone supposed to be coming up um to pick up a little tricycle thing that i posted on facebook marketplace she's supposed to be coming this morning told her i was gonna be out of here by 9 30 i ain't heard from her so she don't have to wait till i get back home if she still wants this thing anyway i am getting ready well i'm pretty much ready because i ain't doing nothing else with this hair y'all <laughs> i need to wash it i need to retighten um especially the middle i retighten the perimeter um so it's just gonna have to wait and do what it do today and i need to wash it and rebraid it and everything but whatever but i have a surprise for the girls today they have no idea what it is so i'm gonna take you guys along with us as i share with them um what we're gonna be doing today i think they're gonna be excited at least i hope they're gonna be excited um and we'll probably try to spend a good bit of the day outside it's been raining literally all week long and today is the first day that we have some sunshine so as long as all of our allergies can stay under control i think we can spend most of our day outdoors hanging out but i'm gonna tag you bring you guys along with me as i tell them what the surprise is and then we actually get to you know have the surprise <laughs> Let's go. All right, we are in the car. Made a quick Starbucks run. We're not 100% Starbucks people because it's just too expensive. But we went today and the girls are trying a pink drink for the first time. How does it taste? <laughs> How does it taste? I don't know. I can't. Let me taste it. It don't really taste like much of anything. What's the hype surrounding a pink drink? Anyway, I got a vanilla cream cold brew is what I got just because I didn't feel like, hold on, I didn't feel like getting anything hot. And then I wanted a banana nut loaf warmed for breakfast this morning. Um, we are headed to the surprise. So once we get there, we'll check back in guys. So guys, we are at the surprise and I have them with their eyes closed back there because it'll be a bit of a giveaway once they open their eyes and see where we are. Let me see if I can flip y'all around. Okay, I need to hurry because we are crunched on time and I need to get out of the car because I don't exactly know where I'm going. So you can open your eyes. We are doing a doggy day out today! I knew it. Doggies day out. So at this, um, at our We're local pet adoption place you can do a doggy day out so you get one of the dogs and take them out for the day instead of having to actually like foster or adopt them you can just have them for the day so i knew we were doing that that's what we are doing so let's mask up and figure out who our dogs want to be for the day If anything happens, you're on your own. <laughs> That's so cute. It's like Central Park. <laughs> I guess we can just bark. hang out with the dog, maybe. Central Bark. Oh, look at that one. Man. Yeah. All we hear is barking. It's a lot of dogs here. Huh? 
probably, but I'm not opening the door for anyone because the door was locked behind us, so the people that work here will open it. <laughs> but the door is locked for whatever reason. I think she said we came through the wrong entrance, but I don't know what's the right entrance, so I'll have to make sure to ask her for when I um, bring the dog back because you had to be here between 9 and 10.30, and it was like 10.30 on the dot when we came here. And then you bring the dog back like between 3 and 4 in the afternoon, I think, um, so that they can be back in time to eat lunch or dinner, I think she said. So we'll see what dog we get. This one right here loves dogs. So she's, Obsessed. when it's time to bring it back, I don't know how she's going to feel about it. Because <laughs> it's not ours to keep. We are just borrowing it. We have our own dog at home to take care of. She cried when, when we left Right. Literally tears. Right. My, the lady that waxes my brows has a cockapoo. Yeah. And she brings the cockapoo to um, her shop. And whenever we go and it's time to leave, the little one cries because she doesn't want to leave the dog. <laughs> she loves dogs. Love dogs. Might have a little vet on my hand. Look at him. <laughs> it's a girl, I think. <laughs> Hello. He almost looks like a little tiger. Yes. And we're tigers. We're tiger fans. <laughs> so here is our doggy for the day, Capella. I think they said that's what her name was. She's only about 10 months old. She looks like a tiger, like her fur looks like a tiger. It's Wait, so cute. She smells like her. I hope we don't have any problems. They say she this is her like first her time out the shelter. So I just hope, you know, that we have a smooth day because if not, I mean, at least I can oh. take her back and she's going potty. <laughs> So they I'm excited. Really it's fun. definitely an adjustment because my dog is only 10 pounds and having her pull this leash, she feels that she's about 30 <laughs> pounds or so and only mom can hold the leash and she's almost dragging me wherever she needs to go. So we're going to hop in the car and get ready to take her out downtown and maybe wear her out just a bit and then grab some lunch. <laughs> Do you still got to go? Because you keep sniffing like you got to go potty. And I don't want you pottying in my car, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we got her in the car. She jumped right on in with no problems. <laughs> she is clearly a puppy because she is yeah. excited, okay? Do you hear me? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> and she wears a little vest that says adopt me. So, of course, as you're out and about with the dog, um, other people can see that the dog is up for adoption. And then hopefully adopt the dog we're not going to adopt the dog <laughs> but maybe somebody else will find her loving and interesting and they'll want to adopt her while we are out today so we're gonna get ready to head um we're gonna get ready to head downtown so that we can enjoy the nice weather that we have for the day and let the dog get some of his energy out since her? again so her i'm used to call him him because my dog is a him but let her get some of this energy out um because she has not been out so i'm sure this is like a nice little treat for her to get out of the shelter um as well as letting my kids get their bit of a dog fix because <laughs> they've been wanting another dog but we not um yeah mama's not here for it so this was my next best option is do doggies day out and this is cool so maybe Depending on how it goes today, we might do more of this. <laughs> right. Child, this dog got his head out the window. I can't even put the window all the way. Well, he, she did. Um, I can't put the window all the way down because I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know what she going to do because this ain't my dog. And I ain't got time to be um, causing harm to this dog. I got to return. So I did not put the window all the way down. But she had just hopped up to look at the window. And again, y'all, we know this is regular dog behavior to be looking and sniffing out the window and stuff again we have a 10 pound almost 15 year old yorkie that don't do none of this stuff so we are not used to having a dog this size a dog that is with his head and everything hanging out the window 
and it's 10 months old. Like, this is not what we used to. <laughs> so y'all probably be like, y'all being a little extra is just the dog. We not used to this type of dog. So far, she doesn't seem bad. She is definitely highly energetic, which, I mean, she's 10 months old, so that is expected. She is still a puppy. Um, Whoa. <laughs> He's barking at the people. And she has a bark. It sounds much bigger than she is. I mean, she's pretty solid, but her bark sounds like a real big dog. It does. <laughs> But she's definitely attached to the little one who is the dog whisperer. <laughs> Let her up. See if the calm down works. The calm down works? Yeah. Oh, there she, there goes, she again. goes again. There she goes. How does she hang on? She just got, got, her, got her little paws, paws on the window. Does that feel good? I guess as uh, long as she don't be drooling. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it. Drool like Kobe. We don't want no drool. So I'm hanging on to the leash just in case. <laughs> it looks like a tiger. Just in case uh, she wilds out and tries to go any further. There you go. Oh, good, good girl. Good girl. She's sick. Well, she, she was. was. <laughs> For a hot second. Sit? Yeah, fix the leash. She all wrapped around. It kind of smells like she just had a bath. She just had Let go, Chloe. Let go, Chloe. Here we go. She just had a bath. There we go. There she is. You thirsty already? I did. I brought water and stuff. So You sleepy? You yawning and stuff? You supposed to be well rested and ready for a day of fun. Mm-hmm. Because here is like that and this one's like everything. Yeah. I don't know what kind of dog this is. I don't know. Most dogs at the adoption place are just mutts, I'm sure. But mutts need love too. Mutts need love. The Not just the mutts. designer dogs and the little furry cute dogs. The other dogs need love. So we're going to show Cabela, Capella. I don't forgot Capella. the dog's name. <laughs> Capella. Capella. We're going to show her some love today. Oh, oh did you almost... <laughs> Keep still. Hold on. He kind of looks like a hyena from the Lion King, y'all. <laughs> okay, you he can go back now. He kind of looks like she. God, I keep saying he. She kind of looks like Thank a hyena you. just a little bit. So, what did y'all think about this surprise? I like it. I love it. Chloe? Uh-huh. That's all I get? I was expecting a little more zhuzh. We'll see how it goes today. If we can do this maybe like once a month or something. Well, maybe it's going to start getting cold. I don't know how much fun that's going to be. Mm, yeah. We'll see, y'all. But we almost downtown. So once we find a parking space, we'll tune back in, y'all. All right, y'all. We came downtown and I totally forgot <laughs> there's an event going on downtown called Fall for Greenville where basically the entire downtown is kind of almost closed off as far as driving and then there's a bunch of like vendors games music food it's basically where you can try a bunch of the restaurants in the area you can try it um of course without having to go to the restaurant and try a bunch of different um meals and pay for that so it's really nice i have not been to fall for greenville in probably a few years at this point because i mean once you live here it's not as exciting anymore <laughs> and it's a lot of people that's usually out here so I totally forgot that was this weekend and that probably was not yeah that's the dog pulling me <laughs> probably was not the best weekend to bring the dog downtown because it's so busy and she is barking at everything um and apparently wants to attack squirrels as well so we are here sitting here at the falls because I just needed a break because she is literally tearing my hand up having to hold this leash so tight because she is all over the place but we're gonna walk a little bit circle back around and then grab some lunch so that we could eat and then we'll see how we feeling about the dog 
do we take the dog back after we eat or do we take the dog home for a little bit yeah what's your vote take the dog no, we can't have her. We can't have her around our dog. So that was definitely one of the rules when you um, do Doggy's Day Out. If you have a dog, it's supposed to be about the dog that you have out. So if you have a dog, um, you need you should not have your pet around this pet. And I wouldn't want that anyway because this dog is in a shelter and my dog is old. <laughs> and if this dog has any health issues, I don't want it to pass it along to my dog. So if we do take it home, I'm just gonna put my dog upstairs um, and then we'll be able to play with this one downstairs. But I don't know if she is potty trained. I wait. did not ask if she was potty trained. Wait, wait. I think wait. we should take it home wait. so she can wait. like get off the leash. Wait. But I didn't ask if she was potty trained. Wait. So she pees and poop in the house. What? Where, 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 oh, she's Kobe, oh, she Kobe, Kobe dies and we can get. Oh. No. How are you going to put death on our dog? <laughs> wow. So she's sitting down in between my legs down here. If you can, if I'm even getting her. And there's so many dogs here. Right. And I'm, I'm enjoying her being calm at this moment <laughs> because she is so full of energy. Oh my gosh. And she's so heavy. I am just not used to having a dog this heavy. She is literally pulling me as we are trying to walk. Um, and also another rule is only the parent can hold the dog on the leash. But I would not let the girls hold her because again, she's so heavy. She would definitely pull them down to the ground if I allowed them to <laughs> take control of the leash. But I'm gonna let her hang out here since she is being good. Well, I, there she goes again, pulling my aunt. All right, y'all, let's go shelter you can adopt a, just have a doggy day out so you get them out of the shelter and then take them back at the end of the day i know so we're we're giving miss capella a day out what's her name capella she's only 10 months old they said yeah so we've got a really old wire haired pointer and like a six-year-old lab yeah we have an almost 50 year old yorkie so he is like I don't want to walk, leave me home. Yeah, so we figured true. we would give this dog Maybe a chance to get out the shelter. <laughs> right, but. Hi, baby, come on, have a good day. Oh. Have a good day, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> controlled on the leash as we walk back up towards everything so that's where we were we came back up and she is not pulling me as much now so I guess maybe she's gotten used to us and walking or she's burned off some of her energy <laughs> so she's a little bit more relaxed now but definitely a lot we passed along her information to one person who may want to adopt her so hopefully, a lot of people right, a lot of people are looking at her. So hopefully, she gets adopted. We're gonna be on the sidewalk. We were gonna eat at Ale House, but the sign said no pets allowed. So we're just gonna pick up some food and uh, take her home and see what she does. All right, y'all. We are officially heading home. <laughs> like Maya said we did not um, eat because of the whole event going downtown it is so busy and when she gets around a lot of people the pulling oh my god is too much my hand is hurting from having to have the leash wrapped around my hand so tightly because she was basically walking me instead of me walking her at this point I am sweating I have gotten a whole nother workout in at this point so I decided it was best for us to just get in the car, grab something to eat, and head home, and we'll let her hang out at the house for a bit, and then take her back in a couple of hours. Yeah, we have made it back home with Miss Capella is here. She walked up in the joint like she knew exactly where she was, ready to own it. Our dog, I just let him out and then put him upstairs, because um, he should not, oh, you got to get out of here because this is where the dog food is. 
Uh, right. Sorry. I forgot to close the laundry room door where we keep our dog's food so that he can't get into it because just I just want to be careful. We ended up going to Chick-fil-A to get some food. They even asked us if we wanted a pup cup for the dog. And I was like, I, I, I this isn't my dog. <laughs> I don't know what she can and can't have. I don't know if she has tummy issues. I don't know. So I was like, just to be on the safe side, let's not do the pup cup. <laughs> Even though she may have enjoyed it, um, you know, be the highlight of her day out because she get to go back to the shelter and tell all her homegirls that, you know, I was out in these streets. We outside. Uh, nope, I just watched my hands her breed, she's a uh, brindle. I think that's how you say it. And she's pretty much um, a hunting type dog, which we could sense because she loves to sniff and search around for stuff. So I figured she was some type of hunting breed, but I just had never heard of a Brindle before. I honestly thought she was just, I honestly thought she was just like a mutt, <laughs> like most shelter dogs are. So, um, she was she's like, so she's scary. Like, yeah. Look at her up there. I closed all the room doors upstairs so she can't get in the room. Come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. We're not used to having a dog this big in our space. All right, we're gonna eat. And let her hang out for another hour or so. We probably take her, we may take her out in the neighborhood to the park for a walk to the park. Yeah. Something so she can get out a little bit more and not just now Chick Fil A. Yeah. This thing he been all of my fries. That's mine. What is going on? Is that mine? No, because you didn't have any fries. Did oh you eat fries out the bag? No. And then they I tried to eat them. I tried to eat them. I tried to eat them. Jeez. All right, y'all. We are going to eat. He's so bad. We also came home to lots of packages, so figured I would open up the packages for y'all. This is from Children's Place. So this is school uniforms. Yay! She ain't excited. I'm not even going to take these out. But we got three. I thought I ordered more. Maybe this isn't my complete order because I thought I ordered. I'm going to have to double check my email because I thought I ordered more stuff than this, but maybe not. Two pairs khakis, two white shirts, and then a gray. So I bought long sleeve stuff so that she'll be good to go for the fall. This is an Amazon package. What is this? Oh, I think these are, I ordered some workout pants that I got. No, they're red. These are cute. I really don't do red, but I like the color too, but these seem nice. Oh, and it has a little pocket in the inside for your phone or keys or gum or something, which is always nice to have a pocket. But I got these from one of my coupon ladies. I think these were like, only ended up being like $7, so that's why I got them. And then I think this package is my other doorknob. If y'all follow me on Instagram, which you should if you not, Tasha B. Nicole is what I am on Instagram. But I, if you see here in the pantry door and in the laundry room door, I switched out the hand, the knobs on my doors to black matte handles. So I have them for all the doors down here so far, except for the bathroom door that's down here because that one needs a um, privacy. Yeah, this should be the... I hope I didn't order the one with a key. I just wanted privacy, not one for... Okay, I did right. 
I saw this part and thought I ordered the one that needed a key because I don't want that one. But needed to get a privacy one for the bathroom down here. And I need to get a lot more for the ones upstairs. But wanted to just order one first because the same exact brand that I got the others, they don't have the privacy one. So I tried a different brand that looks very similar to that. And I wanted to make sure that it looked the same before ordering a bunch more for the doors upstairs. So I'm going to put this one on the bathroom door down here so it matches. But it just elevated these doors. Like I absolutely love them. And it literally takes five minutes with the drill to take off the old one and put on the new one. Of course, you don't have to drill any holes. So that's one. And then this last package, I think this may be my Etsy order, if I'm not mistaken. I am horrible at keeping track of what's coming what day. Oh, that's cute. She gave me a little coupon code, if I like it. It's a little necklace, cute packaging. They can't stop feeding the dog treats. No. Teaching her tricks. She, oh, okay. She turned around. Look. Turn around. Come on. Turn around. This is so cute. So this is what I ordered. It's a necklace. Now I need a treat. That's so cute. So the little thing says me versus me with a little dumbbell because y'all know I like to work out. So this is so cute. Let me try it on. Wait, is it oh, that's cute. Yeah. Me versus me. Because that's what it is. You, nobody is your competition but yourself. Especially when you're working out. You got to do what you need to do. But that's such a cute necklace. So I'm going to go ahead and share the Etsy shop in case you guys want. It's Sit. Melissa's Sit. Handmade Jewelry. Sit. I'm sorry, it's backwards. But she also gave me, use coupon code, thank you for 20% off your next purchase. So maybe that works for other people. Give it a shot and see. Always like to save money. But that's all the packages um, um, outside of other envelopes and crap like that. But. We'll check in with y'all if we um, go take the doll back outside for a little bit, do that. Um, and then when it's time to take her back in a little bit. Operation tire out the dog. Operation tire out the kids. Is in full effect, okay? It's a nice day, but because the sun is out, it's a bit, it is hot, but it's not uncomfortably hot. I wish it was cold. Yes! Ooh, and just yes! it. <laughs> Yes. The cloud covered the sun for just a bit because it's still it's a nice day. It's not too hot, definitely not humid. So the we're probably about to walk out. back because she's panting pretty pretty heavily. We did not bring water, so I'm sure she's but panting because she's thirsty. Park. But the doggy is thirsty. Girl. I think she's finally worn out, but the thing is, because she's a hunting type dog, she's nosy as hell, y'all. <laughs> Every time I stop at a red light, at a stop sign, somebody in front of me stops, she's sleeping, but then she wakes up because she's so nosy. <laughs> but she's much calmer now, so I definitely believe Operation Wear the Dog Out was a success. And also, wear mommy out was a success because I am tired. Like, this was like having a baby, a toddler. Like, she wore me out, okay? <laughs> Just 
just like that, our doggy day out is a wrap. How you feel about today and having Capella? You sad now? I knew she was gonna be sad. Like I said, she is a dog person. So I knew she was gonna feel some kind of way, but it was fun. It's definitely something I would um, do again because it was nice to get the dog out. And then as I was, was, as I was taking him back, I mean, taking her back, I was like, this is kind of sad. Like, it's almost like being a, a foster child, like being out for the day and having to go back to the shelter with all the other kids. <laughs> but it was nice. It was a nice day and a nice experience. My eyes are definitely watering now. There were many more people out when I dropped her back off and some other dogs out. So I'm wondering if I'm allergic to dogs, fun fact. <laughs> But only some breeds um, make me have a reaction like this where my eyes will water. I'll sniffle. I'll sometimes break out on my neck if I touch the dog I'm allergic to and then touch myself. Um, so I don't know if one of the other dogs that were out is one that maybe flared my allergies because my eye is now definitely watering. But that's okay. So we are going to, I think, swing by the grocery store real quick. We left Big Sister at home. She didn't want to ride. So we'll swing by the grocery store real quick before we head back home and then go home. Because actually the sky like fell in as we were on the way back. Um, and I think it scared the dog because she woke up and she just kind of just sat up in the seat kind of looking like what's going on. So hopefully we won't run into too much of the rain. Head it back home. And then it's going to be doing hair and chilling for the rest of the night. Because again, I'm tired. But we had a good time, right? Right? We'll do it again one day, okay? You don't have to be sad. Hopefully, that lady that wrote down Capella's information, hopefully her mom will want to adopt her, and then Capella will have a forever home. So don't be sad. Our job is to get the dog seen so that they can leave the shelter. So good deed for today. Check. Good morning. Almost afternoon. <laughs> It is Sunday. We forgot to close the vlog out yesterday after we got home because we, we got home from getting a dog. We made some crab legs and we just hung out for the rest of the night. But as you can see, I've started on her hair. Her, I started yesterday, so I kind of got half done and I'm finishing up the top half um, <laughs> this morning. So just wanted to come on to close out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a great day with us and Capella. And maybe you should check out and see if your city or local shelter has a program like that. And again, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe if you are not already, and I'll catch you in the next video.